Well, during our work with the Gui Chapman theory, we saw the constant kappa had units of inverse length. So we call the inverse of kappa the Debye length. So what is the Debye length? What does it mean? In the low potential case for Gui Chapman theory, we saw that as we moved out into the interface away from a solid surface, that the potential died off. As a, very fun as a very simple function, it was the original surface potential this curve actually had a simple form, it was the original surface potential times E to the minus kappa times H. Or we could write this in terms of Debye length, we could say that it's E to the minus H over the Debye length. So it tells you the Debye length has a characteristic length that says that if I go out one Debye length, I'm going to go down by a factor of one over e. So basically my potential will go down by about a factor of three. And if I go out another Debye length, it will go down by a factor of three again, a factor of you know 2.71, etc. Okay, so what are Debye lengths? What's a typical Debye length? Well, going back to our definition of kappa, we can see that lambda just the inverse of kappa, so we said that it's just a collection of constants, the dielectric constant of our solvent, the vacuum permittivity, kT, all over a sum, where we sum over all ions, and we have the charge on each ion, you know, whether it's plus one, plus two, minus three, etc., times the charge on an electron, and that squared times the concentration of each ion in the bulk, and this is number concentration, so number of ions per cubic meter. Okay, let's do it. Let's do an example. All right, so we're going to calculate the bile length for one molar sodium chloride, and we need to actually specify a little bit more um, in water and that we're going to do it at 298 kelvins. Okay, so now we've got all the data we need. So let's write out our expression for the by length. All right, so we have the dielectric constant for water at room temperature. We have the permittivity of free space. We have Boltzmann's constant and the temperature. On the bottom, we know that we have a summation for all the different ions that are present. Well, there's only two, the sodium and the chlorine, and or the chloride. And since it's a one-to-one -one salt, they're both, you know, we're one molar concentration of sodium, one molar concentration of chloride ions. So we're just going to multiply a two and then just write out the expression for one of the terms. So the charge on a sodium or chloride is one. Put in the charge on an electron. And we have to square both of those. And then we have the concentration. Now we have to be a little bit careful here because we're given that each of these ions is one mole Per liter, and of course that's that's the wrong units. So we're going to convert this to number. This is number density, so it's number per square per cubic meter. So we're going to convert to numbers for moles and to cubic meters from liters. First, let's get rid of the liters. We know there's a thousand liters in one meter cubed. So at least that gets rid of liters. That's good, but we still need to uh, get rid of moles. There's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd ions per mole. So now we're able to cancel. We've got moles and we've got moles in the bottom, so those cancel. So if we look at this, we've canceled those. We've got meters cubed here. I'll leave it for you as an exercise to figure out that this comes out to uh, meters squared. So we take the square root, we get units of meters. And this comes up. 
to a Debye distance of 3 point o times 10 to the negative 10 meters, where we could say that this is uh, 0 0.3 nanometers. This is pretty small, right? We know that the size of an ion is hundreds, radius, an ionic radius is hundreds of picometers, so this is just a, a size of a few ions here. So when we have a short divide distance, electrostatic effects don't extend out into the solution very far. On the other hand, if we had a long divide distance, which we can see would be something where we have a low concentration of salt, that would give us a long divide distance, then electrostatic effects uh, extend a great distance out into the solution.